St Thomas's Church, Crestrophon in Edinburgh. Thank you. Thank you, presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament. Jesus said, I have come that they may have life and life in all its fullness. Throughout December, church leaders experienced the phrase, you must be busy at this time of year. We always smile as if it's the first time that we've heard this. At least it's not you only work one day a week. We are busy, but we also see it as a time to reflect on what we've learned during this year. One conversation has lingered with me. At the tea after a funeral I conducted recently, I sat with a group of West Edinburgh mothers. They did the, uh-oh, here comes the minister look that people often do. It's amazing how a clerical caller can either clear a room or cause people to open up. We got talking about the way kids in the area were getting into trouble with the police. I asked them what they believed the causes might be. It's helpful to ask people such questions. They were very candid. Number one, lack of respect. If I ever talked to my mum the way my kids talked to me, one look from my mum would be enough to shut me up. Number two, materialism. Many children have grown up with a sense of entitlement and a belief that they deserve everything. Parents struggle to provide what they so often demand. Number three, social media. Bullying still exists. In the old days, one could hide from it when you got home from school. Not now. There is nowhere to hide. Kids are feeling the pressure and parents are finding it hard to communicate with them as they are so absorbed in their devices. I was humbled and challenged. They shared some of the real problems that families face. Now, we know there are major challenges in building a society where everyone can enjoy life in all its fullness. For me, that involves inviting all to know Jesus Christ, who can forgive sins and who transforms individuals and communities with his love. But that one conversation raised so many questions for me. How can all of us who lead embody in ourselves values which challenge some of the damaging forces at work in our nation? How can we ensure respect for the voices of young and old, live simpler and less self-centered lives, and communicate face-to-face -face with deep caring and listening? Thank you. Thank you very much. And we turn now to uh, business. Uh, and the first item of business is urgent question.